Welcome to another AnyNode video workshop. In this episode, we invite you to sit back and watch as we share information on the integration and configuration of AnyNode to leverage Microsoft Azure Active Directory accessibility as a registered application. In our video workshop, we will describe the essential configuration steps for that. This allows AnyNode to access the Azure AD related user information by creating an Azure dial string directory. This directory will be filled with all the retrieved data upon various settings and flexible filter conditions. To handle the dial string list and information with high performance, the retrieved data is being cached and will be refreshed upon a defined interval. As all user data is managed within Azure Active Directory, no updates to any node are needed if users are added or deleted. The newly created Azure dial string directories can be bound to the root filters of any node's routing domains. A routing domain example will be reviewed in this video workshop later. You will need the following requirements for a successful registration of any node and access to the Azure AD. An Azure AD tenant that corresponds with the appropriate Office 365 environment. An Azure AD for Office 365 license. An additional certificate in case of certificate pinning as described later in this video workshop. At minimum, an AnyNode installation using the certified version 4.2 or higher. Appropriate network access, network routing, and administration rights. Access to the installed and configured VoIP environment. VoIP credentials for the involved nodes to allow for appropriate configurations. For the Microsoft Azure Active Directory configurations, please log either into the Azure portal or the Azure Active Directory Admin Center. For registering any node as an application in the Azure AD tenant, change the portal view to the App Registrations dialog and click New Registration. Next, any node workshop video AD is entered as a name. TE Systems only single tenant is selected as a supported account type. All user and guest accounts in your directory can use your application or API. Use this option if your target audience is internal to your organization. Once everything is set continue with register. The registered application for any node is now created with an application, client, ID, and it is associated with the directory, tenant, ID. Please note that both IDs are required for setting up the AnyNode Azure Dial String directory, as described later in this video. A secret string that is used by AnyNode for the AnyNode Azure AD must be generated. This secret can refer to as a password, used by the application to prove its identity when requesting a token. For this task please change to the application view and the certificates and secrets dialog. Once there, use the new client secret button. In the next add a client secret dialog, enter a name of your choice. The expires option is selected with one year. If everything is correct, generate the client secret by clicking add. The newly created client secret is now generated with a random value. Use the copy to clipboard function as this value must be available and entered as client secret for any nodes Azure dial string directory as shown later in this video. Please note, you have to copy and paste the value of the client secret immediately, it's not possible to do this at a later stage. The newly created and registered AnyNode application, AnyNode Workshop Video AD, is initially only enabled with the user read permissions. It is necessary to add additional delegated and application-related permissions. This example uses the referenced Microsoft Graph API permissions as shown. Delegated permissions. Directory access as user all. Access directory as the signed in user. Presence read all. Read presence information of all users in your organization. Application permissions. 
User Read All Read all users' full profiles. Group Read All Read All Groups Directory Read All Read Directory Data If the API permissions are set, proceed with Grand Admin Consent for the Tenant. Please note, if the button Grand Admin Consent for the Tenant is grayed out, check with the assigned roles of the recent user that is logged into the Azure portal. Some roles might be not set for that user account, for example, the Privileged Role Administrator. Once completed properly, the added API permissions and their states, see status column, are now displayed with granted. Now let's take a closer look at the API functions once more, and see which is best to achieve what we want any node to do. The directory access as user all and presence read all permissions are needed to access the presence user status. In this case, the MS Graph password method must be used for authentication. If this option is used, an extra user should be created in the user AD for this access. This user does not need any extra rights, as far as known. We will show an example for the MS Graph password method authentication later in this tutorial video. Directory read all is needed if license information should be included in the filter. Group read all, this write is needed if you want to include the groups and the user memberships of the groups in the filter. User read all is the basic write, which is needed to access user attributes, for example business phone of users. Basically, the delegated permissions are only needed if the user status is to be accessed. For accessing a Microsoft Azure Active Directory tenant through the AnyNode frontend, a new Azure Dial String directory must be created. The configuration tasks for that will be processed with the help of AnyNode's directory assistant. You can create and add a new Azure Dial String directory through the AnyNode Scenario Wizard. Alternatively, use the Add Directory button within the Directory's Configuration dialog. In the first creation type dialog of the directory assistant, select create new Azure dial string directory and proceed with next. Next, enter the directory ID. This is the tenant ID of your Microsoft Azure Active Directory environment. The tenant ID can be found in the Azure Active Directory admin center dashboard dialogs. For the authentication, set the Azure AD tenant name with one of the verified domain names, in this example anynodelab.onmicrosoft.com, and the application ID with the associated client secret which has been created as a managed application in the local directory of the tenant. In the last assistant dialog, set the name for the newly created Azure Dial String directory and finalize the configurations with the Finish button. The Azure Dial String directory is now being created. Due to updated Microsoft Azure Cloud Services and TLS-related changes, additional configurations are required if certificate pinning is used. This may require importing additional Microsoft Azure TLS certificates for AnyNode's Azure Dial String directory and its network security profile. Please check the Microsoft Tech Community article for complete details. Although AnyNode and its assistant usually provide the required certificates, they may no longer be valid because some security settings have been changed. Check the chapter to minimize future code changes and download the Microsoft Azure TLS issuing certificates. For adding the desired certificate, please change the view to the network security profile of the Azure Dial String directory. In the Peer Certificates section, click the Add button beneath the Trusted Peer Certificates. We will now show the configuration steps of importing the Microsoft Azure TLS issuing CA01 certificate. Its certificate and state will be displayed.
Finalize the import by clicking Finish. The imported certificate is now set for the Azure Dial String directory. Don't forget to commit afterward to save the new configuration. Finally, you have to make sure that the automatically selected IP in your network controller view can access the public internet. Open Advanced Configuration and select the correct IP address. Don't forget to commit afterward to save the new configuration. For the connectivity test, it is recommended to do the OAuth client authorization test first and when successful continuing with the Microsoft Azure Active Directory connectivity test. The following list shows the search result. Maximum 100 will be displayed. If it fails, please check the Azure AD configurations and that any node as registered and authorized application has all needed permissions. Also, check about the availability of the Microsoft Azure TLS issuing certificate as described. This test, which retrieves the phone numbers, establishes another TLS connection to another Microsoft server, which usually presents a different certificate that any node may not trust. You can also view this certificate. Add the remote host and port manually. Any node will then attempt to connect to graph.microsoft.com. It is possible to add this certificate to the trusted certificates and replace the certificate that was previously on the list. In this case, the included root certificate will be added at the same time. The AnyNode dashboard gives an overview of various configuration states. A double-click onto an entry opens a new window with some more details. As mentioned in the API permissions, accessing the presence user states requires using the MS Graph password method with a user authentication. For this, we recommend using an additional Azure AD user. Insofar known, such a user doesn't need any additional rights. An example is given here. In our example, we use a routing domain with a root filter relation, an Azure dial string directory. If a dial string does not match the Azure dial string directory request with its conditions, for example, this number here, the call will not be routed to the Microsoft Teams direct routing destination node. It will instead match the second filter rule and the call will be routed to the PBX node. You can select the Azure dial string directory in the root filter. In our practical example, we would now like to set up a routing dependent on the Microsoft Teams user status. If a Teams user has his present status set to do not disturb, is offline, or is on a call, the call should not be routed to the Teams user. For this purpose, we have previously granted access to directory access as user all and presence read all in the API permissions and used the MS Graph password method. These settings are needed to access the presence user status. Open the settings in the Azure Dial String Directory. Under Azure Dial String Directory filter you can define which user present state is taken into account. 
In our example we will now remove the default check marks for busy, busy idle, do not disturb, and offline. This means that the first entry in the root table is only taken if the team's user is not currently on the phone and has his user status set to green or yellow. Now we have to create a second root with the Azure Active Directory where all fields are still checked so that the call can be rejected. To do this we clone the previous Active Directory so that we don't have to do all the settings again. The name can be chosen freely if required. We now add the standard checkboxes again so that the root becomes active if the team's user does not have a green or yellow status. In the root filter, we then select the cloned active directory. At establishment we select reject call and as status busy. This route should be the second route in the route table because the route table is processed from top to bottom. So we have the first route which becomes active when a team's user is called who is in the Azure dial string directory and has a green or yellow user status. The second route becomes active when a team's user is called who has a red user status or is offline. The third route becomes active when a PBX user is called. This concludes our video workshop and we wish you a successful day.